Hello, I'm John Broom with the Dalhousie Medical Research Foundation. This is part of a series of updates on some of the research taking place at Dalhousie University as it relates to the COVID-19 pandemic. On May 16th, the federal government announced that Dalhousie researchers will lead Canada's first ever clinical trial for a potential COVID-19 vaccine. This work will be done in partnership with the Canadian Centre for Vaccinology right here in Halifax. Today, we are pleased to speak with Dr. Scott Halperin, a Dalhousie researcher and the director of the Canadian Centre for Vaccinology. Dr. Halperin, you've carried out several clinical trials for new vaccines over the course of your career. How has your experience prepared you and your colleagues to lead this historic clinical trial for a COVID-19 vaccine candidate? Well, we've been doing clinical trials at our centre for well over 20 years, and uh, we've done a number of these type of trials in the face of a public health emergency. Uh, we, for example, set up our uh, research network in 2009 in response to the H1N1 pandemic and did a number of uh, rapid clinical trials uh, which uh, helped to get the vaccine ready to be rolled out in the population uh, in time to help uh, stem the tide of the, that pandemic. Uh, we also uh, did clinical trials, uh, one of the first clinical trials uh, for the Ebola vaccine. And we did that uh, during the uh, Ebola outbreak in West Africa. And by doing those early phase clinical trials, the vaccine became available for use uh, in uh, West Africa to help uh, stop that epidemic. Where was the vaccine candidate for this clinical trial developed? And what evidence do we have about its effectiveness to date? Well, this particular uh, vaccine that we'll be studying uh, is uh, made by CanSino uh, Biologics, which is a company uh, that's in China. Uh, and th this company uh, was one of the first to start clinical trials with uh, the COVID-19 vaccine. It was actually the second. Uh, uh, it was one day later than the trial that started first. Uh, so a very early uh, contender in the field. Uh, and we've already have uh, observed some data from the phase one and early phase two studies <clears throat> that have been done in China. So we already have some information on this vaccine before starting our trial here in Canada. How long will this clinical trial take and how many people will it involve? So this is a, what we call a phase one slash two study. And phase one studies are the first uh, clinical trials that are done in humans. Uh, and they involve uh, typically from anywhere from uh, 20 or 30 to less than 100 uh, individuals. And the main outcome we're looking for there is the safety and tolerability. Uh, and also uh, an early look on the immune response to the vaccine. After the phase, early phase one, information that we receive, we'll be able to start the phase two study even before the phase one study is done. And in that study, we will be enrolling anywhere, phase two studies have anywhere between a couple of hundred to five or 600 uh, individuals uh, enrolled. And there again, we're looking at safety, but also a deeper look at the immune response in larger numbers of people. Each subject that's in our study, uh, whether it's the phase one or the phase two study, will be uh, in the study for anywhere from six to eight months. Uh, so we think the whole study uh, will take close to a year uh, to enroll and complete the phase one and phase two portions of the study. If the results of the clinical trial are positive, showing the vaccine candidate to be safe and effective, how long will it be before we can begin vaccinating Canadians to protect against COVID-19? So the process of going from phase one through to phase three studies and phase three studies are where we see does the vaccine work? That process typically takes uh, anywhere from five to seven years. We'll be compressing that timeline by starting the phase two portion before the phase one is completed and then starting phase three before phase two is completed. So we're hopeful that if all goes well with this first phase one slash two study, that we can be uh, into uh, phase three studies uh, by the early fall. The duration of phase three studies really depends on how much disease is circulating. Uh, so how long those take um, is still a little bit unclear at this point, but those could take uh, anywhere from three to six months to uh, complete. The vaccine may be able to be used more widely uh, even before we finish all of those studies. And that's if the uh, Health Canada and the uh, Public Health Agency of Canada decide to use a process that's called emergency release, where the vaccine is made available to Canadians before it's fully ready to be uh, licensed. 
Uh, then it can be used in a larger number of Canadians, still with careful monitoring, but not waiting until the whole regulatory process is complete. Thank you, Dr. Halperin, for the vigorous testing you're working on, which will hopefully benefit all of us. Uh, you're welcome. It's been my pleasure to talk to you today. If you'd like to find out more about the COVID-19 research DMRF donors are helping to support, please visit dmrf.ca slash coronavirus. And if you have any questions or concerns you'd like to share, or if you'd like to help, we'd love to hear from you at dmrf at dal.ca. Thanks for watching.